Thank you, Professor Rao, for the nice words of introduction. Uh, good afternoon to all of you. I am extremely privileged to be here with you this afternoon, addressing this August gathering of uh, topmost specialists in the field of aerospace. But my topic is uh, very wide, and I don't know within the short span of time how much uh, I can do justice to the topic, but still, let me make an attempt. As uh, Professor Rao has mentioned, ISRO and India in, uh, really is, uh, uh, is in the focus. Everyone looks upon us uh, because we have taken our spacecraft to the moon and is giving beautiful images of the moon, is trying to capture the glory of the surface of the moon with all these uh, fierce uh, attributes. And also is trying to get some signature about the various minerals on the lunar surface. So I hope the data, already what we have collected itself is so voluminous. I'm sure the scientists are going to take a few years to analyze and come out with uh, concrete results. And if uh, everything goes all right, uh, maybe in about a year's time, we will have the entire mapping of the lunar surface uh, carried out. The first slide, please. Well, the Indian Space Research Organization um, is relatively young compared to the other global nations. We had a late start about 20 years later compared to the advanced countries. But still, we can probably say that uh, we have really uh, come of age. It's a great vision of uh, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, our founding father that we initiated the space program in the country. At the time, he has uh, made it clear that we have to really master the high technology and achieve self-reliance in the field of space. But not only that, uh, that we should uh, be working towards application of this technology for the benefit of the common man. ISO is truly living to his expectations. We have completed uh, something like 51 missions, major missions of uh, satellite missions, of our Earth observation, communication, and so on. And also, we have taken 16 spacecraft for other countries with our Indian launch vehicle. I'm happy to say that out of these uh, 51 missions, 20, 27 have been with indigenous launch vehicles like uh, SLV-3, the ASLV, currently the PSLV and GSLV. Of course, um, we have given a lot of uh, thrust to the development of applications, and perhaps we have evolved as a unique uh, country where the space resources are put to use for solving the day-to-day -day problems of man and society. And also, uh, I'm happy to say that ISRO is an organization which can tackle complex uh, space missions in an end-to-end -end manner, uh, right from the concept to the design, implementation, and delivering as a final product. Next one, please. We have a constellation of uh, satellites in the geostationary orbit called the INSAT series and uh, they are providing service to the sector of uh, broadcasting, uh, communications, and uh, supporting some of the meteorological applications and so on. Uh, we have nearly 210 transponders in this constellation, and uh, virtually every one of them is put to use. In fact, uh, even before the, the satellites are launched, the capacities are booked by the users, among the broadcasting, the DTH has emerged as one of the very powerful tools today and it has virtually revolutionized the entertainment field in the country. Of course, the radio broadcasting and the TV broadcasting in the C-band and others they have been very popular in the early days. And the, the small terminals, the visa terminals are providing the widely needed communication for the industrial houses and the commercial establishment. More than 50,000 such terminals are working in the country providing vital services. The geostationary platform provides an opportunity for looking at the clouds, 
the cloud motion and especially when the cyclones are formed, the movement of the cyclone and so on. This is put to use on a day-to-day -day basis for providing the meteorological warning and uh, near casting of the weather phenomena. Of course, we specialize in uh, areas like uh, mobile satellite terminals and the search and rescue operations through the geostationary satellites and the development of communication. This again has become very unique uh, from the national point of view. The, uh, you know that many places uh, the, which cannot be reached by the conventional means, the satellite provides an opportunity for uh, reaching to such faraway places and the very much needed adult literacy program and educational program to the remote villages are provided through these communication satellites and then also the satellite link is used for providing health service to the remote areas. As you know, many of the specialists are in the metros and to reach out to the villages becomes difficult and the satellite provides an excellent means of uh, reaching such people and providing services. Annually, more than 150,000 patients benefit out of the telemedicine service uh, through the ISO satellites. Next one, please. The, we have the constellation of uh, Earth observation satellites. They provide um, the images in various spectral bands, the various uh, resolutions uh, starting from a uh, one meter class and um, perhaps it's one of the finest uh, combination of images one can get from a Earth observation satellite. The resource that combined with the cartographic satellites of Carter 1 and Carter 2 series is uh, contributing to the national development in a very big way. The agriculture, the forestries, fisheries, watershed development and uh, disaster management, these are some of the areas where it is making an impact. In the agriculture, the forecast of the yield well, in, well before the harvest season provides a means of um, uh, harnessing the resources for mobilizing the, the, uh, the grain collection or in shortage areas, the grain distribution and so on. In the fisheries, what we have achieved through the, the ocean color, the ocean temperature and the wind measurements over the surface of the ocean is becoming very powerful input to the fishing, fishing community. The areas where the fish school assembly can be predicted and uh, this has been put into operational use by our uh, ocean development departments on a day-to-day -day basis. They provide the rich information to the villagers in the fishing villages and they can go to the spot directly. This saves fuel and also improves catch. The disaster management program is one of the